Hi everyone and welcome back to our not so human challenge. Ginevra is cleaning up the house after her first ever successful occult party last night, which went really surprisingly well, but now she has to take care of the house, maybe mop up all of the weird goo that the ghosts left. That just sounds so much worse when I'm saying it out loud. But she's also trying to keep her promise to temperance that she's going to be taking very good care of the house. So she's definitely going to be working on that as well. And she's feeling pretty good after the party, although she is feeling quite thirsty. So that is something that we have to take care of today, but I want her to continue cleaning this up and after she cleans it up, we can actually get rid of some of this mess. Oh, you found something in the box. Oh, it's a book about a piano though. You're more interested in organ. I think I might actually want to maybe sell- Oh yeah, definitely sell this. That's very good money. Just in time because we also got some really bad bills. Oh no. Are you going to find anything in the suitcase? No? Okay, well, let's have you get rid of this really weird creepy thing and then we can just get rid of everything else and work on restoring this room as much as possible. So now that she cleaned everything up, I think I can finally get rid of these like piles of things because she looked through all of them and she doesn't need any of that stuff so we can just even sell them all so that's like a lot of money as well. So let's get rid of all of these boxes. I'm gonna leave the backpack because that's that's hers. What she came with, the suitcase it was not hers, we looked through that. So I think that's kind of everything. We can't really restore that much in this room. I mean, we could get rid of one of these and that cost her 500 simoleons. So that kind of leaves us with nothing, but at least she's keeping her promise to temperance, which I think is really important to her. Why are you feeling so scared though? You're just kind of feeling a little spooked, which speaking of, I did realize that she actually has a lot of satisfaction points. I don't even know how but she just has them. So I think that it would be kind of appropriate to give her that brave trait because I'm pretty sure that that's eight thousand points which i mean we have it so we might as well get it and i'm sure that she's not spooked by things she's literally a vampire i don't think she she minds a couple of ghosts here and there so it would make sense to just get this speaking of ghosts i'm gonna have her try to commune with them a little bit because i think that it's been a while since she did her last seance so let's see if she's gonna be able to reach anyone oh you just now reached level four i thought that she was like way up there in that scale not really sure if it goes to level five or ten though but oh right you are quite thirsty i forgot about that well we do have a couple of plasma packs in the fridge that we could be trying out i don't know if she tried plasma packs before i don't think so so i think that she might enjoy this so how's that plasma pack working out for you are you happy to be drinking that i mean it did oh it didn't really help that much with your thirst i think that we might have to drink the other one that you have which is really not that good because these are expensive i'm pretty sure that they were like 150 per pack or something so i don't know if we can really afford to keep buying these especially because they're not really filling her thirst all that much i'm gonna have her try to read some more of this book maybe she stumbles upon something that's a little bit more useful to quench her thirst because these packs really don't seem to be working out she's not even liking them that much and they're really not filling her thirst and we really can't keep buying them so we have to find an alternative ideally not drinking from sims because she is a guilty drinker but i don't I don't know if we have alternatives. Sunlight reversal cocktail. She learned that it is possible for a vampire to reverse the effects of sunlight using a special drink. Oh, we could actually look into that. I think that she would really enjoy that because I think that she's really missing the sunlight. It's not something that she really appreciated much as a human, but now when she sees that she can't actually go outside when it's sunny, it's kind of getting to her. So I feel like this would maybe be a good thing to look into as well as looking for the cure, especially because it wasn't her choice so it'd be fair for her to have that option but as we know we can't be asking Vlad because he would most likely be quite devastated we know that he's just so lonely and Ginevra is feeling kind of sorry for him so we will be friends and we don't want to break his heart but I think that she really needs to find a cure just to have it right now she's doing okay but you never know and she's feeling a little bit hurt by him honestly she should be feeling a lot worse so I guess she doesn't resent him that much although she should oh and speaking of Vlad. Do you want to go to his house? Uh, I guess that we could go. I wanted to talk to him anyway so they could do some more training together so I guess we'll go. Oh no, they're both sizzling. Okay, stop talking about the house and just get inside the house because I am getting really concerned. Oh yeah, you're definitely sizzling. It's not even sunny technically, although it is looking quite sunny. I really think that that sunlight reversal drink is very 
very much needed so we don't have to get into situations like this because it's just so so limiting and it's just so lovely outside look at that it's so pretty but they can't really experience any of that unfortunately but can you do any like vampiric training or something you have to be in a better emotional state that's so funny i guess she's feeling sad because she's feeling hurt around him that just means that he can't train you oh god okay well can we do something else i think that they can do a little spar together so maybe we can test out her powers that way to see if she's getting any better i don't think that she'll be able to beat him quite yet but it'll be kind of interesting to see oh no are you going outside to do that are you really well that's just a dumb decision isn't it but i mean it's just ridiculous that they're literally sizzling and they're still doing this but i'm really interested to see who's gonna be winning i mean it looks like it's definitely vlad so far but you never oh no i was gonna say you never know but this is definitely looking like vlad is winning so so hard oh yeah he he definitely won i am um, not surprised at all i think that we should just run inside now and while we are inside we could be talking about that issue that geneva is having about the lack of proper feeding material because the packs are not doing anything for her but she doesn't really want to drink from people could you just sit together though this is really annoying oh look at them actually sitting here together just like when vlad was telling her about his backstory that's kind of a nice interesting throwback to a very intimate moment to be fair it is a really important moment but oh you're showing off a bit of your powers i mean he did beat you so he already knows you suck but at least she's learning more stuff and she's proud to show it off so i like that but you should be talking about that plasma issue that you're having and maybe he's gonna be offering some advice although i don't really think so he's probably mostly gonna say well you're just gonna drink from people and Ginevra is not really a huge fan of that idea but it's kind of looking like she has no alternatives Vlad is convincing her that it's okay. You just kind of have to get used to it and don't go way out of line like you did on your first try. But that's kind of his fault because he didn't really give her any direction. But I'm going to try not to blame everything on Vlad. But he is saying it's okay for, to drink from people. Just find your balance and try not to exhaust them too much. And you should be okay. And there's nothing to feel guilty about because they're usually just feeling fine. They don't even know what's happening, which is okay. And that made them become good friends. So I guess it was really good good advice. But since Vlad has nothing else to say, Ginevra could be using that chance to go practice the organ a little bit. She's not very good at it, but she realized that she actually really enjoys doing this. So while you still have an opportunity to do this, you just take your time and try to enjoy it a little bit. And Vlad is probably, oh, I was gonna say, he's probably enjoying you doing this, but no, he just escaped. It's really that bad. I literally can't even find him. Where did he go? I, I literally don't know. It's really that bad that he's just, there's no one to be in the house while she's playing oh you have to get so much better at this but i really like that she likes it i don't think that your skill is very good yeah it's not even a level two but it's nice that she found something that she actually really enjoys doing oh and we have the humor and hijinks festival which i think that she would really like because she likes doing a bit of mischief and maybe it's a really good hunting ground as well because there's a lot of people although it does seem a little bit risky as well but i think that it would be maybe a good idea to go just to have a bit of fun and also to get used to sipping here and there from people but it's maybe still a little bit early because they were sizzling and it's not even really that sunny outside so i think i might have to wait for a couple of hours for it to be dark enough oh you're even getting an invite to go to the festival still a little bit too early and i don't think that going with a group of ghosts and a very obvious vampire would be a good idea so i might have to send her alone actually i was gonna invite vlad along and maybe some ghosts but they would be a very noticeable crowd that's just gross crossing my mind now so either way I'm gonna have to say no to you unfortunately. Oh you just reached level two you're not really any better than you were but at least she's enjoying it still. I'm really not seeing Vlad anywhere he just left his house that is so crazy. Well it feels a little awkward to just be here then so I think that we should leave and while we wait for it to be a little bit darker I'm gonna have her dumpster dive just because I'm really just hoping that we'll run into something really good here and that it's gonna be useful for the house because she really really wants to make temperance a little bit happier and this is kind of the only way we can make money or find furniture oh in the middle of all of that while she's literally fully in the dumpster vlad is calling to say that his date went really well right i forgot he went on a date in the last episode and it was really really good maybe when he left the house he went to see his date again oh i love that congratulations vlad before we run off to the festival i think i really want to add all of the things that she just found now so i mean it's not really that much it's this cute little plant that we could put somewhere well since we are working on this room to kind of improve it we could put that like here so we have like the relatively
relatively nice little area here. And we can put the armchair. Oh, that armchair is so much money. I think I might want to sell that because it's just so much money. We can do so much for the house and we can keep this ottoman. So that could be like a little seating thing here, although it's in really crappy condition. But we can do so much for this house. I am actually really excited for that. So we could go upstairs and clear pretty much all of the trash. I think that all the trash in this room would maybe be like a thousand simoleons kind of cost. So get rid of all of that and you also get some money back. Let's just call that recycling. So get rid of all of these piles, which I think that you have finished just now. And we can get rid of this big vine as well. And if we move to the next room and just get rid of maybe this thing. So that's maybe another thousand. So that's 2,500 and maybe this is another 500. And let's just say that this is also 500 to remove. So we did spend 3,000 simoleons just now. So it was a really huge expense, but the house is looking so much better already. Wait, we could actually just go downstairs real quick and remove something else. Oh, we could remove this for 500 simoleons. So there, that's looking so much better and we're pretty much out of money. But I feel like we did so much and Temperance is most likely going to be pretty happy with that. But Ginevra is really, really not happy. So I'm going to have you go take that shower because you really need it. And then we can finally go to the festival and hopefully have some fun there. I mean, look, the house is looking super empty, but at least it's looking a little bit more livable than when it comes to just like the general conditions of it. I think that the next step when it comes to clearing all the, all the big trash piles, of course, would be to move on to outside. Oh, and I just realized that she's super thirsty. Literally how? She had two plasma packs this morning and it still didn't work. But let me hide your dark form and we can travel to the festival. So whenever you are ready, we can just go and travel. And I could take Vlad. I'm sure that he would appreciate the invite, but I feel like it's just risky, especially when he's looking like that. Oh, it's quite crowded, but it looks like it's dark enough. So I'm not too worried. So let me have you join the pranksters. So you try to have a little bit of fun here. Although I'm sure that she's feeling a little bit stressed because she's just so thirsty. There's so many people around. She just wants to take a little drink out of pretty much anyone probably, but you have to resist it at least until you're in a bit of a more private area. But look, I think that we'll have some fireworks. No? Is it just these like super little sprinklers? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, never mind. I was expecting something more fun. Oh, this is awkward. Her stepdad is here. I was not really thinking about that. He seems to be ignoring her completely and I think that we should keep it that way. Oh, they just walk past each other. Oh, that's awkward. That's awkward. He doesn't know about any of the vampire things though, so he just thinks that Ginevra is weird, so he's not really freaked out. He just doesn't want anything to do with her, which is, I guess, fair to some extent. But anyway, you are actually trying to make friends, or are you trying to see who would be a good snack here? I think that she has her eye on Mortimer, so <laughs> that's kind of appropriate, I guess. Let's do some more mischievous things, though, since you are on that side. Why are there so many celebrities around, though? I think that we have, like, three, four of them. There's paparazzi everywhere. It is so annoying. At least she's leveling up from mischief because she needs to do that for the rules, but it's just so frustrating. But I think that you have your eye on Mortimer, so I think that we should work on isolating him, which is not going to be easy because he's literally in the middle of like a conversation with two huge celebrities. So is it even going to be easy to get involved into this conversation? Probably not really. Look at this. This is just such a mess. <laughs> Maybe I could add you to the group. That's kind of the easiest way. And then we can go. Oh, and we won already. Oh, it's already 11 p.m. Everyone's going to be leaving. Okay, great. Um, Mortimer, how about we just go... Oh, I'm missing the fireworks, but this is more important. Mortimer, how about we just go to the bathroom together? Although I kind of do want to see the fireworks as well because it's looking really nice and uh, super cute. But okay, these two I'm seeing are leaving. Oh no, he's not going with her. Mortimer, are you coming? Are you not? What if you go to this room all the way upstairs together? Because it has a lot of instruments and it's also very empty. So Ginevra could be like, oh yeah, I heard that you can play the piano really well or something so you could just show me. She's trying to be really charming. I guess that vampires just naturally have a bit more charm than normal sims although she's not very good at that but Mortimer doesn't seem to be complaining. If anything he's really obeying her. Shut up Mortimer a little bit. Make sure that he doesn't go anywhere and I also need to be looking out for people coming but let's do a deep drink unfortunately because she's super th oh no someone's coming over. Okay no they're going to the other room. Okay okay this is stressful. This is stressful because it's in a public space but you need to be doing a deep drink from Mortimer because you are just so hungry and you know that this is the best way to drink from people and Vlad said nothing bad is gonna happen they usually don't even know what happened you're okay as long as no one sees 
means something is happening. I have to look at the door though. I think it's gonna be okay. As long as no one shows up, we're fine. Just have a quick drink and hopefully you'll be okay for a while. He has no clue something bad is happening. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is so stressful. I'm just really hoping that no one walks in, but she seems to be enjoying this. She's doing okay. She's not feeling too tense. She is a little bit stressed out because she's around someone, but she's not even feeling guilty. So that's good. Was that really good plasma? It didn't even fill her hunger fully. So I have to do it again. I'm sorry. You have to sit here and wait for him to wake up and we can drink some more and then everyone can just go home, pretend like this never happened. Oh no, someone's walking in. Oh no, do I have to drink from you as well? I think that I might have to. If I go and drink deeply from him and he passes out, then we are okay because he's going to be hypnotized and he won't know that this happened, that he saw anything. I think that's a good approach. I'm just so stressed. What if like more people walk in and then she has to hypnotize and drink from everyone? Oh no, and Mortimer is waking up. Oh no, no, oh no, he's running away. Uh oh, okay, don't go anywhere. He's just waiting here. He's still feeling like disoriented. Okay, good, good. How about we just go here together when she's finished and you are not going to tell anything to anyone. Oh, okay, you're back. Okay, now we have to drink from you again just to like hypnotize you because this guy just passed out and you can't really say anything to anyone. Oh no, I'm hoping that no one else walks in. Are you failing? Oh, <gasps> are you failing? Oh, we have to do it before this guy wakes up and then we have to run. So this is so stressful. You better make this happen. Oh, I'm so stressed now. It's not working. This guy just woke up. What do I do? Maybe he just hasn't realized he just woke up. This is so bad. She's just chasing him around back and forth. Okay, this seems to be working. All right, he's gonna be hypnotized. He has no idea. I'm not too worried about the other guy because he was just all days and everything. So we're good. Now he's hypnotized. We can go home after this. He can go home after this. Oh, she could travel home with Mortimer. If he's still under her spell, we could take him and make sure that he doesn't remember anything. She's really overdoing this entire thing. She's overthinking everything, which is really not good. He's just running around feeling super freaked out. I feel like whatever hallucination she put on him is kind of leaving. So it's not good. Oh yeah, he's definitely not going for it. She's just so inexperienced that things are just not working. And she's overdoing this so much. She focused an entire night on trying to drink from Mortimer and just chasing him around. She's really trying to take Vlad's advice, but she has no idea what she's doing. It's kind of crazy that it was so hard to even drink from him. She's been chasing him around for so long. She's not even thirsty at this point anymore, but she's kind of enjoying it. She had a lot of satisfaction from his plasma. I think that keeping him around would be a good idea. At this point, she's keeping him like a pet. He's just running around and she's chasing him. But I think maybe that'll be a good choice to just kind of put a spell on him every now and then and invite him over to have a nice little- Oh, well, maybe she really did overdo it. Now we kind of have a problem. She's so bad. Oh no. I think that his plasma really was good. She should have kept him around. Can we maybe plead for him? Maybe that'll be a good idea. She really just overdid it on every single level, chasing those two guys around that museum or whatever and chasing him around the house and everything. I know what overthinking feels like. I, I know it when I see it and she really just does not know what to do in these situations, but this just really didn't turn out well. If anything, it's quite ridiculous. Are you going to be lucky? No. Oh, you didn't bring him back this time. That's it for Mortimer, I guess. I was really trying to keep him around, but never mind. Oh, Grim's coming over to talk in the bathroom of all places, but if he wants to be talking, you should introduce yourself for sure. I mean, you did manage to seduce him last time, so I feel like you two probably have some decent chemistry. Honestly, probably not, because that first impression looked like it was kind of bad. Oh yeah, they kind of hate each other, honestly. Neutral chemistry, amazing compatibility, but she sees him as untrustworthy. Kind of makes sense. He is taking souls and he thinks that Geneva is weird, which honestly kind of fits. I, I'm not blaming him for that at all. Well, let's see what he has to say. Maybe he's going to be offering you some advice to avoid having this happen again. I'm sure that he doesn't want to make his job more difficult than it has to be by you constantly having accidents, so we probably should be taking care of that. If he can't say anything, we have to talk to Vlad, although I'm not really sure if he's gonna be too happy about this. Well, I kind of want to see something. Oh, he just got angry though, so it's probably not gonna be very good. I was gonna say, I want to see something. I want to try flirting, because she did flirt her way out of killing that first guy, and the Grim Reaper brought him back. Not really happening with Mortimer, but 
I want to see if there's something there. So let's try to go for a romance option. Although I am a bit concerned because he is angry. Oh, I don't think that he's going to take that flirt at all. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Do you think that Ginevra is going to be causing some problems for you in the future? I really hope not. Oh, he actually took that and he's happy now. Oh, I think that romance is actually the way to go with him. They have the romance bar. Interesting. Could you, could you do, you, you can kiss his hands. I don't know if he's going to be taking that, but we could try. Oh no, it's getting awkward. Of course, she is really awkward. This is probably her first ever sort of romantic encounter. He can hang out for a little bit though and he's taking the flirts. Wait, this is, this is so stupid. The only problem is that she's feeling quite uncomfortable, but it's not getting to her that much and they're having a suggestive conversation now. Oh, Ginevra, don't be thinking about babies with the Grim Reaper. What are you doing? Where is he going? Oh no, don't leave. No, 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 don't leave. She can't go outside. I need to call him over somehow. Oh no, are you going to be risking it all to go and uh, chat with him? I don't think he's leaving. He's just being annoying. Are you trying to trick her into dying? Oh, well, that's just messed up, isn't it? Not them chatting with Mortimer just in the middle of them. Oh god, okay. Well, at least he's keeping her company. At this point, she's usually lonely because she can't hang out with the ghosts. She can't hang out with Vlad. No one's really around during the day. So <laughs> I guess that the Grim Reaper is a great option. Oh, he's actually flirting back. I was not expecting that. Never mind. They're really like hot and cold. She's not very good at this. So I'm not really surprised that it's just constantly not really going that well. Are we going to leave him alone? Yeah, he's just not really having any of it anymore. That's fair. Honestly, you've been here for like so long that maybe it's time for you to go. Oh my God, she keeps putting this stupid voodoo doll on the toilet. How about we just have you have that and sell? Oh, sell all of the things that you have. That's really going to be so much money. Temperance is going to be quite happy. So we could do some more things around the house while Grim is just wandering around since they don't really want to talk to each other anymore. Where are you going? Do you have any suggestions what I could be fixing around the house? You just want to hang out here? We could do that. Oh, we could do that. We can hang out around the fire together. Oh, he's going now. Okay, well, he was here for a really long time, so it makes sense that he leaves. But since we do have some money, let me see what else we could do to kind of restore the house a little bit more. So we could be, we're honestly kind of really close to just fixing up the inside and to begin furnishing. Before doing that, try to clean up on the outside a little bit. We haven't had Temperance show up today, but whenever she shows up next time, I'm sure that she's going to be quite happy to see that things are really, really going well. So that would cost us 2000 So we're making some really good progress. But maybe it would be a good idea to at least acknowledge what we did with Mortimer because she's not really seemingly too concerned about it. I'm a bit worried that she's feeling just so desensitized to it. Oh, and her offering was appreciated. So we'll have someone walking around so we can collect some skulls. But, oh Vlad, since we will have this Day of the Dead celebrator around, I think that we might want to look out for him so you could maybe come over here. Well, Vlad is apparently sleeping, but I did find this Day of the Dead celebrator, but he's just so far out. He's just all the way over here and she's going to be burning. And let's see if he's going to be giving you anything. I really hope that this is going to be worth it. <gasps> no. Oh no. We have to do a respectful introduction. Right. You have to be friendly with him. Well, you have some time. He doesn't like you at all, but we need to, we need to be nice to him. Please ask him to hang out. Oh no. This is so stressful. Ask him to hang out and you could ask about his career and just all the annoying things and just ask him for a sugar skull. Maybe he's going to be nice to you. No, still nothing. Oh, you're so rude. You're so rude. We really need to become better friends with you, but maybe not right now. How about I invite you over to the house maybe? Because we really don't have time for this. Okay, I'm going to add you to her group and we can go back to the house and maybe just chat all the way here, please. I think that she literally almost died. That was way too close. So so you better give me some nice sugar skulls because this is just so frustrating. Are you finally going to give her one? Oh, all it took was inviting him over to her house. All right, it's fine. Sure. Oh, he's going to be seeing this. Hopefully this doesn't look too suspicious. Let me see. What did you get? Oh, you got a really nice one. We can put that next to Mortimer as a bit of a apology for what you did to him. Hopefully you like it, Mortimer. Oh, she's asleep, but Gidri just showed up and he's offering a gift. You want to give her your favorite jacket. Now, don't worry. I got plenty of them. This is the one I died in. I mean, this one is very special to me. Oh, don't know how I feel about that. Why do you want to give me that? That actually is really special for you. But I really appreciate it though. I guess that they're really close. So um, I'm not going to question what happened in this jacket. But thank you, Gidri. Oh, he's here, but he's just leaving now. He just wanted to drop off that gift for her. Well, I mean, let me just go 
into cast real quick and try out that jacket. I think I'll just add it on your like second cold weather look since it is a jacket after all. Oh, I really don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. I mean, it was really important to Gidri. I think that she would wear it just to make him happy because he obviously went through the trouble to give that to her. So I guess we'll keep it. I just, I want to try to at least make it a little bit nicer. Doesn't really work with that hair, does it? It looks a little bit strange. So let me give you something different. She's appreciating Gidra's gift. So of course she's going to be wearing it. But you are feeling a little bit bored. So I think that it is time to finally invite Vlad over. Maybe ask him how his date went because he did mention something about it. And maybe mention what happened here. Maybe he has some advice now that he's kind of forced to tell you more about how to avoid this. She's feeling a little bit bored, a little bit embarrassed because that just didn't work out well. I wonder what he's going to be saying about this. Maybe he's going to be a little bit upset, but he does have to be aware that this is kind of what she did now and it's not her first time. So he really needs to offer her some guidance. Otherwise, this might become a regular thing, which might not be the best thing ever. But if anything he's saying, you don't have to worry about it. Don't feel embarrassed. It happens to all new vampires, I think. Everyone is just having a bit of trouble keeping their powers in check and then you sometimes just go a little bit overboard. So don't worry about this, honestly. I know it kind of sucks because, I mean, it's kind of a serious thing for mortals, but honestly, who cares? Oh, they're even hogging it out. So he's not mad at her necessarily. He's even saying, how about we just do something together? Maybe grab dinner together and it's gonna be okay. You'll see that it's not really such a huge deal. We can go on a little hunt together, which is a little bit morally questionable, but it's what Vlad is offering. And there is literally someone walking by just now. So we should go here and catch them. Oh, he's literally running to meet us at the door. He's just entering the house. Oh, wow. See, we cleaned up a little bit and the house is looking so much more inviting. No, are you running out? Oh, he's definitely running out. Ginevra, go catch him. Oh, you can't drink plasma for him. He's another vampire. This person just did a U-turn, however. So I feel like they might not be a vampire. This is like good to keep in mind though that you are meeting some other vampires. Vlad might be actually super excited about that. Are you a vampire? You're a teenager, so maybe that's not good. Oh, we can drink plasma from you. We can even do that together with you. We can all have dinner together. Oh, that's a nice way to meet a friend. There's also another vampire coming over. Oh no, I feel like you might be a really tasty snack. Oh, sweetie. Oh, honey. I'm sorry for what's about to happen to you, but you have like three, four vampires on you. I don't feel like you'll really make it through this conversation. Yeah, this guy's definitely gonna be participating. If anything, he's just making sure that this one doesn't escape. Oh, I feel kind of bad now, but it's it's happening because it has to. She has to fill her hunger anyway. Well, she even managed to lure him into the house. That is pretty impressive. Quite vicious, honestly. She's just turning into a completely different type of vampire, which is a little concerning. But now you're all involved, so you have no rights in feeling guilty. So we can all just take turns and hopefully this plasma is actually something quite exquisite and worth it. Otherwise, this is just all for nothing. She's feeling like so guilty, but she has to get over it. Your friends are not even watching. They're more upset about Mortimer. Oh, he might actually be coming back as a really angry ghost. I have not considered that. It is the night now, so we might actually run into Mortimer today. And it looks like we actually have another one. But this time, it wasn't really an accident. Ginevra did realize that Plasma is actually kind of the sweetest when it's in the last moment of the Sims' life. Before their last breath, this Plasma is just the sweetest and the best thing ever. And it's kind of unfortunate that she seems to be developing a bit of a taste for that. No, but seriously, why are you crying? It was literally your idea, Vlad. You wanted you two to go on a hunt together. Oh, are you upset because you weren't involved? It was this guy, our new friend. Everyone's kind of escaping. Oh, are you all feeling guilty? You don't like the Grim Reaper? That's interesting. Well, Ginevra, you could be pleading because you are actually friends with Grim now. What's happening with the vampires? Why are they so scared of the Grim Reaper? I guess they don't really want to be involved with him. That's fair. Oh yeah, Vlad wants nothing to do with this. It looks like Ginevra actually did go a little bit too far. He did not expect it. And he's probably also feeling jealous. But with all of that crazy mess, I think that it might be good to just stop here before Ginevra has any other bad ideas. We have just realized that she developed a bit of a taste for a very specific type of plasma, which might be a little bit problematic. And the Grim Reaper is also getting a little concerned along with her other vampire friends. But we'll see if she will address that situation in the next episode, which you can click right here. And if the next episode is not out yet, here is something to watch while you wait. See you there.